Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on time management. So I get a lot of questions from students about how best to manage your time. And the answer to that, unfortunately, is not so straightforward, is it? <laughs> All of the tools that I will show you today, three tools, um, are just little tips and tricks for you to use and for you to decide which ones will work for you, right? So what I recommend is actually trying uh, a few of these out right away at the beginning of the semester, and then seeing which ones really stick with you as the semester goes on, okay? So I'm gonna start with Google Calendar. And Google Calendar is one of these Google tools that's pretty uh, intuitive and easy to use, right? So um, you can see it by the week, by the date, by the month, whatever you need up here um, on the top right. And once you click on a time slot, it'll automatically uh, default to an hour. It'll tell you, um, oh, I want it to be an event, a task, or a reminder. So this can be useful for when you're trying to sort things out between like, oh, just remind you to email someone. That's not really an event. It's not going to take that long. Um, a task is something you can complete very simply and that you maybe want um, to be done by that by that time right uh, and this will also generate a nice list for you okay um, and once you do an event you can also create this uh, do not repeat thing click that and you can create a reminder for you that's custom based on for example your class meeting times so you can always be sure that you won't miss a class because you'll get a notification uh, that uh, your class is meeting right uh, or that um, might be that you uh, are need to go to work or something. So um, this little add notification thing will help you uh, basically set your notifications and make sure that you're going to places uh, on time. Okay. However, I do want to mention that if you don't already use Google Calendar, you may not want to use Google Calendar over some of the other tools. Um, and that's just because uh, when you're doing the sort of adding guests, when you're adding your location, all of that stuff, um, it's not going to know uh, all the people at Western, right? Uh, Western uses Outlook. So I will discard that and let's move on to Outlook. So from your little email um, browser window tab um, and the top banner on your browser, you'll be able to see mail and then calendar. So if I hit calendar, I can see all the calendar events I've created for myself. Okay. Um, some of the really nice features of Outlook include the fact that once you double click on a time slot, uh, you can invite people uh, from Western um, directly, right? So if you aren't sure of someone's name or spelling, uh, you can find people um, who are in your, your group, essentially. So um, that's a really nice feature. Um, I do want to mention, though, that uh, not all the functionality on the browser exists uh, totally here, right? So if I were to open up the Outlook app here, um, it looks a little bit different and it feels a little bit different, okay? Uh, the Outlook app is a lot more powerful generally than it behaves in the browser, so uh, I do encourage you to use it. Um, I mostly like it because uh, when you have just your um, mailbox or uh, your calendar in a browser, um, you can get lost in a sea of tabs, right? They can have multiple, multiple tabs. Maybe you're doing research in one. Maybe you've got a group chat in another, all that kind of thing. So it can kind of get buried in there. But if you have your own separate tab window for um, just the calendar and just your email here, you'll always have it up and you'll always be aware of it, essentially. It will also give you um, desktop notifications on the bottom bar. Um, if It'll be a little yellow envelope for when you have an unread piece of of mail in your inbox, um, which makes it really easy to keep track of those. So, I also uh, like in the <laughs> in the app version when you double click like this, uh, you can choose to invite. You can also go really quickly to categorize, choose a category, bing bang boom, you're set. Um, yours won't look like this, obviously, if you haven't made any changes. All you have to do is go to all categories, and there you can edit, rename, uh, add colors, anything that you want like that. So uh, that's how I like to, to track most things. Um, I mostly use the Outlook calendar so that uh, other people in the institution can um, schedule appointments with me without having to ask about every single little detail, right? Um, it's also very easy to uh, create things that repeat. So all you have to do is hit the recurrence button and then you can decide, oh, I want it weekly, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, from this time to whatever time your class is, uh, and then you're good to go. You can also make the occurrences so that it ends by the end of the semester and you won't be bothered by uh, future ones, okay? 
So uh, that's mostly the Outlook app, um, which I do like. But my favorite one by far is just a very, very simple uh, calendar um, that I've made manually in Google Docs. So uh, the advantage to this is in its simplicity, right? Um, all I have to do is just start typing in during a time slot, 10.30 to 11, make a video, um, and then I can quickly choose the color to assign it uh, pretty much arbitrarily <laughs> and have that be that, right? I don't have to decide whether it's an event, a task, or whatever. I don't have to decide how much it should repeat, whatever. I can just copy and paste whatever ones are repeating. Uh, so I do like this also because you can take it anywhere with you. Um, although a lot of businesses still use Outlook, so it would be really nice for you to impress your boss by saying, yes, I can make a, a calendar event for you, um, rather than going, I have no idea. I used Outlook for four years in college and I didn't learn how to use it at all. So um, I recommend that you choose something that works for you, right? And sometimes that might also be a paper and pen um, planner or a calendar, um, a physical calendar, whatever it happens to be. But you should stick some with something and uh, see how it goes for you personally. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.